In what may come as a surprise to many, the Nigerian constitution does not emphasize the situation where a judicial officer will resign out of his or her own volition. Section 292, subsection 1 of the 1999 constitution as amended, provides that a judicial officer shall not be removed from his office or appointment before his age of retirement, except by the president acting on an address supported by two-thirds majority of the Senate, praying that he be so removed for his inability to discharge the functions of his office or appointment, whether arising from infirmity of mind or of body, or from his conduct or contravention of the code of conduct. That aside, holders of public offices in Nigeria hardly resign from office even in the face of ill health. In this light, the immediate past chief justice of Nigeria deserves commendation for taking a courageous decision to quit, having come to the conclusion that he no longer has the strength to do the rigorous job of adjudicating. However, there are those who believe that Justice Muhammad resigned because of the protest letter written to him by 14 of his brother justices, while others say it is a combination of both factors. However, his resignation will not take away the plethora of problems bedeviling the Supreme Court and the judiciary in general. Given the circumstances under which Justice Walter Onohe resigned as Chief Justice and now Justice Mohammed, this is not the best of time for the Nigeria judiciary. Nevertheless, Justice Mohammed's resignation has provided the Acting Chief Justice Olukayodi Ariwola with the opportunity to take a fresh look at the problems and to provide leadership which has been lacking in the judiciary in recent times. Since he is one of the justices who wrote the protest letter, Ariwola is occupying an unenviable position by providing solutions to problems identified by him and his colleagues.